Hi, welcome back to Andrea Fontana Beauty. It's been a hot minute since I filmed a video. It's been crazy. Wedding planning is just a lot and I could make this intro 20 minutes long just by talking about that, but I'm gonna spare you that. So just know that it's been busy. We are 16 days out from our wedding, so things are busy and crazy and I found a little chunk of time here to film some videos, so I wanted to put some makeup on. So today I am just doing a spring makeup tutorial. I am feeling very inspired by the Mercury Retrograde palette from Huda Beauty. There's a lot of really beautiful spring tones in here, so I'm thinking I want to go with like this peachy coral purpley section and do something really pretty. Haven't quite decided yet, but let's do it. Put a headband on so that my hair is pushed back. Some products I haven't used on my channel before, some I have. I'm gonna start with the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Makeup Grip. I picked this up to try out because I heard it was a dupe for the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Haven't tried that one, but this one looks eerily similar. And I noticed a huge difference when it comes to how it applies my makeup and I really like it. So that feels really good. I get really red when I apply anything to my face. So that'll go away in a second. Haven't used this one in a minute. So we're gonna go and try this one out again. It's the Sephora Best Skin Ever. Perfect natural finish long wear foundation. I have the shade 4N. I do like this. This one has a pump. I'm just gonna put one pump on the back of my hand. I have a dampened beauty blender here and we're just going to, this one is a little too pale for me, but if I wear it sheer, I feel like I can make it work. It's hard because I'm one of those people who my face is much darker than the rest. So sometimes when I put foundations on, they look like they're too light for me. But in reality, like if you see how that blends with my neck it's really not that different doesn't help that my face was just a lot redder than it normally is but i'm putting the thinnest layer of this on as you can see we have some beautiful stress breakouts from wedding planning again all of this totally normal okay so yeah i just put the thinnest layer of that all over because I'm truly just doing this makeup so I can film more videos. It's not, I'm not leaving the house in it. Also, it's like almost five o'clock. So I'm doing this for the next couple of hours and then I'm probably gonna wash my face, take a shower. So I don't need a long wearing full coverage look today or rather this evening. Okay, so that's blended in. I'm actually gonna skip to my eyes now, but I just realized that I didn't pull. Oh wait, that's why I didn't pull an eye primer. We're gonna use a product I've never used before that I've heard fantastic things about. I've never used one of the No Budge eyeshadow sticks from e.l.f., but this one is special from their Cookies and Dreams collections. It's the No Budge eyeshadow stick in Sweet Cream. It's in the shade Sweet Cream. So this is actually a white base. Gives me flashbacks to the NYX milk eye pencil so i i'm gonna apply that on my lid on both sides just like that i know i look crazy it's kind of the point so far so the purpose of putting a white underneath a lighter eyeshadow color i'm just kind of like tapping this in with my ring finger the whole purpose of this is i mean you can see i blended that out to be much less opaque but a i'm using it as a base that so my eyeshadow has something to stick to but I'm also using the shade specifically of white so that I get a little bit of a more vibrant, true to color outcome from putting on those pastel and lighter tones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by setting, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna set the lid. We're gonna start with a blending brush. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Utopia which is this beautiful coral shade right there. And I'm going to take it on a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna go right above where I just placed, kind of like right above my crease. So like right where I stopped the pencil, I basically covered my whole lid with that pencil. So I'm just buffing that in. This is gonna be my tr transition shade. Why is that so hard to say? 
There's just something about pastels in the spring that makes my heart go pitter-patter. I wore fuchsia eyeliner the other day and it made me so happy. One of my favorite things about spring is how color just feels so magical. It's like it's been gray, especially if you live in the Midwest or somewhere where you have a cold and gray winter. Once those colors start coming back, it's like oh, you're reborn. I know that probably sounds really cheesy, but it's so true. So I'm just like fading that up. Most of the color is right here above the crease and then, you know, blending, buffing that out even more. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with a slightly, still fluffy, but a smaller blending brush. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade Off Balance, which is this pink, it's like a mauve pink tone. And I'm gonna go right at the top of my crease and intensify even more. See how that just brings in more pink? I love the combination of pink and orange. It's one of my favorites. So you better believe I love it for spring and summer, truthfully. Again, just buffing that out. Now I'm gonna go back in with that blending brush that I was using before for the corally orange shade and I'm just gonna go over what I just did so that everything blends out. Now, what I wanna do is, okay, so now I'm gonna take the shade Cosmic, which in the pan it looks like it's, you can't quite tell if it's like pinky or purpley, but I'm gonna put that on my ring finger and I'm gonna put that on the first half. Oh, look how beautiful that is. First half of my lid. And kind of bring that down so that it's like my inner highlight, inner corner. I mean, if you just did that, that would be stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush. I'm just kind of like, buff that out where the lid and the crease meet. Again, this is just for the inner. Don't worry about like the side here. We just want it to look smooth through the inner corner there. Then I think we're gonna go in with the shade Ultraviolet, which is like a dark purpley blue, like a very blue violet color. And I'm gonna go in with, and we're gonna put that just in the outer corner like this. I'm just popping that right in the corner there. We'll blend it out in a second, but I just wanna place it first because I don't want these colors to get muddy. So you see how I just kind of placed that? So now what I'll do is take that blending brush that we just used to buff out the inner corner and kind of soften through the crease there. And blend that out a little bit. Same with here. softening it so that it fades, the outer corner fades nicely. So now what I'm gonna do is take that small blending brush, pick up more of that purple and just press it in the inner corner and buff it out. I'm also gonna like bring it in, kind of like buff it this way to meet with the original color that we put on the lid. Do the same thing on this side. Bringing it in, bringing it in. So once that's like kind of blended and you have soft edges, okay, I'm taking a flat shader brush and I'm going to use, I, I like this one that I'm gonna use because it's very, very flat. As you can see, it's very thin, very flat, but wide and flat. And I'm gonna spray one side of it and I'm gonna go into that same purple and I'm just gonna, just to get a little bit more color payoff, we're gonna apply it a little wet. Okay, that's also gonna give us a little bit. See how much, see the difference in the two? So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Blend it out. Then we're gonna flip it over and we're going to spray it again and do the Cosmic shade, which was the original lid color that we did. So we're gonna do a little bit more of that and just apply that through the inner corner there. Just, we're just, you know, we've, we placed our colors and blended them first. Now, after we, when you blend it, it sometimes takes away a little bit of the impact. So we're just adding that back in. See how pretty that is? So it's like a pink into violet 
with a pinky coral crease. Feels like spring and I love it. Okay, so that's enough for the eyes for now. I actually don't think I'm gonna do any liner or anything because I like where this is. Next, we're going to conceal. I have my NARS Creamy Concealer in, this is the shade Vanilla. My preferred shade for my skin tone is Nougatine, um, which is more of a yellow undertone. This is a little bit more pink, which is not my fave, but they were out of it when I needed it. So here we are using vanilla. And I'm gonna use my beauty blender to just buff that out. Looking good. Next, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade 10 Fair Light. I'm just gonna, if you've seen my previous videos, I'm not sure how well it'll pick up. I hope it, there you go. You can see it when the sheen hits or when the reflection of the ring light hits, I only poke out less than half of the holes. I don't peel that full sticker off of a loose powder. I just pull back. And what that does is it allows not too much powder to come out of those holes. I poke them out with uh, tweezers. I've showed that in a video before. That's my trick so that you don't get too much powder coming out. I always forget how amazing this powder is. It is so finely milled, so finely milled that sometimes I just can't get over it. That looks great. It's funny how different the lighting setup needs to be when you're, I'm like, I'm, I'm still filming with the same lighting I normally do, but it's just a cloudy day, so rainy, dark day, and so it's just like way darker in my studio today. My ring light is making me look washed out. Okay, next, we're going to use, we're actually using a lot of drugstore makeup today. This is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade, is it Honey Drip? Honey Drip. We know I love this product. So, let's give me some color. Oh look, she is alive. She's not dead. I'm getting a spray tan for my wedding. And I'm very excited. Now I'm excited to use a new to me product. Well, I shouldn't say new to me. I've never used it in a video. So it's new f to you guys seeing me use it. Does that make sense? It's the blush equivalent of what I just used on my face. So it's the e.l.f. Putty Blush. This is the shade Turks and Caicos. I also have a more berry toned one. This is a little bit more coral. I thought it was gonna play off the eyes nicely. I'm obsessed with these as well. Not surprised because I really do love that putty bronzer. And honestly, the formula reminds me a lot of kind of how the putty bronzer applies. Like you can build up the color, but it, it's very easy to work with and it, isn't like inten too intensely pigmented. See, it's a nice little coral color tie in the, I'm loving this, I feel so springy. Okay, amazing. I actually, the thing I love too about these is that they're the perfect size for me to dip my brush into. So, I don't know, they're just so easy to work with for like an everyday makeup. Next, I'm gonna use another e.l.f. product. Do they have a putty highlighter? They have to, right? I should probably pick that up. This is the e.l.f. Bite Size Duo in Lychee. One of my faves. I don't know if you can see how much of that highlighter I have used, but I freaking love this highlighter. It's beautiful. It's just, can you see it? It's just so finely milled. It's not glittery, it's just like healthy looking. I don't know why that's like so difficult for me to show you. But I love it. Then, I mean, I really love the blush that comes with these too. I have a bunch of these colors because they're, they're really like, I truly, is there a better blush formula? Honestly, I think this is one of the best face product deals that you can get for your money at the drugstore. I think these are $4 and you get a highlighter and a blush and they're amazing quality. So to get two products, it's basically $2 a product, which I mean, can you beat that? No. Okay, love it. We are going to spray. We didn't do my brows. 
What is wrong with me? If that doesn't tell you my brain is not functioning properly, I don't know what does. I'm at the stage where like we're just really overgrown, need to be waxed, unibrow's coming in, but I just truthfully can't be bothered because I want to do it last minute for the wedding. So I'm just going to walk around with crazy brows for another two weeks. It's just not on my priority list right now. So frankly, I'm not going to do it. Did I just do a really bad job? I don't know, guys. I feel like there's... My brow hairs are so long that they're creating a shadow. And I can't see where to draw. Maybe that's a sign I should do them. Like right here, there's like a shadow underneath them because they're so long. Whatever. Ooh, should we do a test? You guys. Can you see that? I mean, I'm rubbing really hard and it finally came off, but I would like, who's really rubbing their eye that much, right? Like, I really had to work to get that to come off with my finger and there's still remnants of it. That's pretty awesome for, again, that was probably three, four dollars. I don't really remember. I should probably look it up. It'll be linked below so you can click on it and find the price. If I know it's limited edition, but hopefully it's still available. Okay, we're going to you. We're just gonna curl my lashes and put on some mascara. So I'll be right back. Okay, here's the finished look. I love it. I don't have anything on my lips because I just can't be bothered. <laughs> um, I feel so happy with how this look turned out. Mainly because it reminds me of candy and Easter and pastels and it just makes my heart happy. I am a May baby, so I'm a spring baby, which means that spring is my favorite season and I just adore pastels and, you know, fun light colors and the combination of such colors. So this is just telling me that I need to uh, use this palette more often. That's all she wrote, so... Everything will be linked below. Have a wonderful day and have a happy spring. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and send this video to a friend who you think might enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Bye.